Alright guys, I want to make a little follow-up video to the video I made yesterday about fanboys and how I deal with them on this website because a number of you asked in the comments uh, specifically how do you respond to, and you gave an example, this type of fanboy comment. Uh, I said, you know, I was actually thinking about making a video like that, not a let's all laugh at fanboy comments video, but a more serious video of just basically listing off the typical fanboy comments that you may see on someone like my videos or someone who and basically you're gonna you're gonna get a fanboys attracted to you no matter what you do if you make uh, similar content to mine or you just take a hard line stance against against something against something that's popular anything like that you're gonna get the fanboys attacking you and as I said in yesterday's video there's a difference between being a fan of someone and being a fanboy of someone and I hope we all understand what the difference is because that is the crucial point here. So again, not attacking a fan of someone, someone who likes someone, someone who enjoys something and does nothing asinine with their enjoyment of liking that something, uh, that's fine. When you become a fanboy, that's when I have to chime in and that's what I have here. I have a list of what I feel are the top retort comments that I generally get on my videos and I see on uh, videos that are similar to mine as well content that's made that's of similar subject matter so I want to um, just go ahead and list these off here for you guys and give you a breakdown of uh, unique ways to respond to these people because so many of you out there uh, I see you guys defending me and you know I'm capable of defending myself and I appreciate that you guys defend me. I'm not going to sit here and say no, no one could speak up on my behalf or anything like that. But I noticed that a lot of you guys, and I've been guilty of this as well, try to rationalize with fanboys. It's a waste of time. It's an absolute waste of time. They're going to be either young and dumb or so brainwashed that it doesn't matter how much sense you make, no matter how many clarified points you make, you will never get through to them. And, you know, I just, like I said, even to this day, I'll sometimes find myself just going, why am I trying to talk to this guy rationally? This, uh, I've wasted time. It's gotten to the point now where I just, I just, I got to find new and clever ways to respond to these people or else I'm just going to go insane. Not literally, but... Anyway, just to make things more interesting, I'm going to share with you some of the more clever or creative ways than outright explaining things from a factuality and uh, rationality standpoint. So, let's go with number one. You're just jealous, and I'll use the wrong possessive form of your when I show these examples here. All right, this is something that we've seen time and time and time and time again. If you've watched my videos for more than a month, you've probably seen it at least a hundred times. Uh, now, we could just, you know, pick on their bad use of the possessive form of your and do the whole asterisk, Y-O-U, apostrophe, R-E, and correct them. But what's the point? They're still going to spell it wrong anyway. And it's, it's kind of to the point where it's like, okay, that's been done to death. And everyone on the internet, it's like a known thing for those of us that do understand the English language that yours is going to be used incorrectly. So, what do we do? Do we explain how I'm not jealous of someone like Shane Dawson, Ray William Johnson, Smosh? Do we explain that, you know, I'm trying to actually make points, that my points are well-founded, and that I'm doing this because I actually want to defend people on this website that are basically being abused by their internet gods? Do we try and rationalize that? No, they're not going to hear you. So simply just, I don't know, just... You could point out the logic of, well, Archfiend has more subscribers or this guy has more subscribers. I'm not just, you know, singularly, you know, relegating this to just me as an example. Or, you know, maybe you are replying to him saying, oh, well, I have more subscribers and video views than you, so you must be jealous than me. I mean, you can use that logic, and I've used that logic for so many years, but even that has grown old, and they still don't rationalize that, because a lot of them will be like, well, I'm not trying to make videos about people, so I can't be jealous. Okay, fine, fair enough. But you could just you could just try and just just make like a joke out of it. Just I don't know, just at this point when they say something this ridiculous, say something as ridiculous back. Just say, "Well, you're just jealous of Batman." 
Just, just leave it as something, something as succinct as that. Don't make any sense out of it. Don't try and explain how they're jealous of Batman. Just say you're jealous of Batman and use Y-O-U-R. Use Y-O-U because that way they'll understand. If you use Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, they'll think like it's like, you know, like someone got by on like a Chinese letter keyboard and typed it out to them. Just say you're jealous of Batman. So there you go. Um, for anyone that's out there, if you want to just be part of like, you know, the Archfiend click here, and anytime you see someone that says they're jealous of me, just tell them they're, 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 they're jealous of Batman. Or you're jealous of Batman. Anyway, there you go. Something, I don't know. It's something different, people, because talking sense to these people is not getting through their heads. All right. Next. You're gay, a virgin, live in your parents' basement, etc., 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 etc. If someone wants to leave a comment like that, and someone wants to create just this over-encompassing characteristic of you, be it by simply watching one of my videos, or you see them leave them leave a comment like that on someone else's video. If they want to, if they want to go ahead and make that distinction about you, there is no room to talk sense to them. They're an ignorant human being. If they're gonna, if they're gonna call you gay, live in your parents' basement, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, just agree with it. Just agree with it. Someone comes to my videos, folks, I don't care. Let them say that I have AIDS, I live in my parents' basement, that, you know, I don't have a job or anything like that. Let them say it. It's not going to phase me. It's been said a thousand times. Uh, none of their comments are original. None of theirs are something like, oh, I'm going to tell him something that no one's ever heard. You live in your parents' basement. Oh, yeah, I got him. Let them say it. Just say... I don't know. Why do, you, why do you have a problem with Archfiend living in his parents' basement? Why do you have a problem with him being gay? And I'll sit there and I'll confirm it. I'll be like, yeah, I'm gay and, and I live in my parents' basement. What of it? Let them think that. Do you think their opinion matters to anyone? Do you think that someone's going to like see my video and see a comments and be like, wow, I had no idea Archfiend was gay and living in his parents' basement? Not that there's anything wrong with that either, but do you think anyone is going to believe one of those idiotic comments for a second? Don't waste your time trying to rationalize with them. Like, well, Archfiend has his girlfriend on his videos all the time. How can he be gay if he has his girlfriend on in his videos? Don't try and rationalize with them. Let them think that. Let them agree with it. Yes, Archfiend is gay and he lives in his parents' basement. What of it? You're mad because they are better than you. I get that comment all the time. Again, don't try and rationalize with them. Don't try and say, well, he has a point about what he's saying about Ray William Johnson and Smosh and Ihorn and Shane Dawson. Don't you see the point he makes? He, he's not mad that they're better than him. He's mad because they're flag flagrantly offending someone, some way, somehow, the system, etc. Don't waste your time. When they say they're mad because they're better than me, just simply go back to the Batman thing. Just say, you're mad that Batman is better than you. And of course, use Y-O-U-R, not Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. All right? You're mad that Batman is better than you. I know I should have picked something more original than Batman because Batman's already a you know, popular phrase going around the internet. Anyway, I will kick your ass or threaten some sort of bodily harm. Now... I want to specifically pull out this comment because this is where I see the most people defending me that end up stooping to the level of a fanboy and then becoming no, lever, no better than the fanboy themselves. When someone threatens bodily harm against me, don't threaten bodily harm back. Don't threaten worse harm back. Let them say it. Let them say it. Because when you sink to their level, it just makes you no better than the fanboy that's leaving that comment. When you see someone saying, I'm going to come to your house and kick your fucking ass, and I see someone replying back with, yeah, well, I'm going to be waiting on his doorstep, and when you show up, I'm going to fuck you up. When I see something like that, I'm like, what is this? Like, I need physical defense from my fan base or anything like that. When I see shit like that, I'm like, just stop. The person is probably really young. Or just really dumb. You can't be intelligent. If you're physically going to threaten bodily harm over someone who made an internet video, I mean, come on, it's not like this person has an ounce of intelligence. If they're that offended that someone made an internet video about their YouTube god that they're going to threaten them with bodily harm, 
You're seriously gonna give them an ounce of seriousness and threaten bodily harm back? Now I know you're gonna be saying that, oh, well, it's our treatment. It's not like your fans are really gonna come to your doorstep and defend you and, you know, fight off people with pitchforks and torches. I get that. But still, sinking to their level doesn't accomplish anything. So, again, even my fans out there, you can act like fanboys a little bit of time. Not all of you. I know it's just a little small portion of you. No matter what I do, I'm going to have fanboys. Anyone that gets an ounce of popularity is going to have fanboys. It just comes with the territory. I understand that. But don't sink to their level, people, please. Anyway. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Now, I saw someone leave a comment on my video yesterday. You know, they basically wanted to know, how do you reply to this comment? What do you say? Because, you know, it is pretty much true. If you don't like something, don't watch it. The show Amish Mafia, for whatever reason, is coming back for a second season. I watched one episode of it, saw all I need to see of the show, know that I hate it, will never watch it again. It is garbage, it is filth, it is the worst thing on the planet. That is the point. You have to watch something in order to know it. Like if, what, I want to draw a conclusion from the previews? The previews look completely different than the show. It just gives you a, a brief synopsis in 30 seconds of a half hour show. Or I think it's actually an hour. But anyway, how would you know you hate something unless you watch it? Now, I know that's, that's going along the lines of, well, you're trying to rationalize with a fanboy. But this is something that's succinct and simple enough that they should hopefully understand it. I mean, I, it, it see, it, through my experience, it has seemed to get through to a lot of people. When you say, how else would a person know they don't like something unless they physically try it? It's like saying, I don't like strawberries, but I've never tried one before. Oh, the, that new album from that band sucks. It hasn't come out yet, but it sucks. I haven't heard or seen it yet, but it sucks. Like, that's the logic that you're operating with. You can't have a negative opinion about something unless you physically try it, see it, view it, whatever. So, if you're going to try and act with an ounce of rationality, this is probably the one example to try it with. All right. No one cares what you think. <laughs> Simple. Batman doesn't care what you think. Well, no, you could, or you could say, um, that's funny because here you are leaving your comment and no one asked you for your opinion. No one forced you to come here. No one forced you to watch this video. Now again, this might be trying to use an ounce of rationality with them and explaining how flawed their logic is. And usually they won't get through, that won't get through in their heads. But just tell them that um, no one cares what you think. Just repeat their comment back. No one cares what you think. Don't don't go into the details. Don't tell them, well, what do you mean no one cares what he thinks? He's got 30,000 plus subscribers, 1,000 plus people have liked this video, it's got 20,000 views. Don't go into any of that. All that is right in front of them when they're seeing my video. When they see the amount of likes it got, they see the amount of comments, they see the little subscriber number. If that didn't absorb in their head, and they're going to be dense to the point that they're just going to be like, well, no one cares what you think, even though you see all that information in front of you. If they're going to leave a comment like that, don't try explaining it to them. Because if they didn't understand it by the time they left their comment, they won't understand it because you typed it out and told it to them. So, just simply reply back with, no one cares what you think. And what are they going to say? Well, well, no, people do care what I think because I sit at home and leave comments all day on videos. And this is my 10th comment on this guy's video, even though I hate him, which makes sense. Just tell them no one cares what they think. Simple. That's the one one. If you're going to reply back with something verbatim to them, just reply back with their exact comment. You don't personally know him. Why are you hating him? Or why are you hating him because you don't personally know him? This is just a sad, 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 pathetic logic. This is along the lines of saying, well, I saw in the news that some guy, you know, raped three girls in a dark alley. But I can't hate him because I don't personally know the guy. I mean, <laughs> it's a heinous crime and all, but I can't hate the guy. I don't know him. Is, is that seriously the line of logic these fanboys want to go with? You can't have a negative opinion about someone unless you personally know them. What I reply back to with on them is, Batman hates you. Well, no, I'm just kidding. Um, 
I know, I'm really using that Batman joke too much. Um, I simply reply back with, well, by your logic, and I just started doing this, by your logic, uh, you don't know Shane Dawson personally, Ray William Johnson, Smosh personally, so therefore you can't like them. Because, you know, love and hate are two, you know, polar opposites. Therefore, you know, if the variable of not knowing them comes into play, therefore, I can't hate them for not, for not knowing them. Therefore, I can't like them for not knowing them. The same logic would have to apply, right? Again, you're trying to rationalize with fanboys, but just tell them that. Just tell them that. Basically, repeat their comment back to them by changing the one variable of like saying, you don't know Smosh, so therefore, you can't like them. If I don't know Smosh, therefore I can't hate them, they can't like them without knowing them. It's that simple. All you do is hate on people that are more popular than you. There's two things I usually say about this. Uh, number one, I say, do an ounce of research. Or I say, now do an ounce of research. Go to my channel, do an ounce of research. Look at the titles of my videos. Look at the content that I've made. When it gets down to it, it's barely even half of my content is quote unquote hating on a more popular YouTuber. The majority, actually the single biggest sector of videos I've made have actually been sports videos. People may find that hard to believe, but that shit adds up, especially around football season, by the way. Get ready for sports videos at football season and don't cry about it when they upload. If you hate sports videos, don't watch them. See that? I use the fanboy logic on you guys. Anyway, um, those of you that don't like the sports videos, I should say. I simply, you know, tell them that, that one of two lines of logic of, um, you know, do an ounce of research and see that, oh, well, there's the So Other Day videos I've made. There's the sports videos I've made. There's just the videos I made, you know, praising someone like Smooth McGroove or saying, you know, Breaking Bad's a great television show. I mean, it's stuff that I've been doing all throughout the six, seven, whatever it is, years I've been making videos here. I've been making so many videos out the ass that people just want to singularly pull out the video. Oh, there's a video about Shane Dawson. There's a video about Ray William Johnson. That that's all he's doing is hating on these popular YouTubers. Again, just tell them to do an ounce of research and come back. Don't explain it to them. Don't say, well, actually, he makes a number of sports videos. He made a video promoting Smooth and the Groove and did all this other stuff. Don't bother explaining that to them. Tell them to do an ounce of research and get back to them. And another thing to say is... Um, all he does is um, hate people that are more popular than him. Ask them what they think of Justin Bieber. Ask them what they think of someone like Justin Bieber, because the majority of the idiot fanboys out there, especially if they're boys, they'll hate Justin Bieber, and then you'll say, well, do you like Justin Bieber? Well, well why? He's, he's more popular than 99% of music artists out there. Therefore, he's better than them, right? Because <laughs> in, their, in, their, in their logical mind, they equate... Uh, more money, more numbers, more fans, anything like that. Justin Bieber gets more people to come to concerts than 99% of the music artists out there. There's very few that are a bigger draw than him in the music industry right now. Does that mean he's better than 99% of music artists out there? Of course, rational people like you and I, and hopefully I'm talking to someone rational out there, I'm sure you are, Rational people like you and I see that as, no, it doesn't mean he's, he's better than anyone. It doesn't mean his music albums are the best. It doesn't mean anything. It just means that he has a niche of fans that buy into what he says, and that's all there is to it. It doesn't equate to quality in the slightest. So, just simply ask these people, what do you think of Justin Bieber? And if you hate them, how can you? They're so popular, you can't hate Justin Bieber. So, there you go. It's two unique ways to answer the whole question of, um, uh, someone saying, you know, arch fiends just hate on someone, or this guy or that guy's hate on someone because they're more popular than them. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this list. Um, I might make another one of these lists in the future because I'm sure people are going to be like, oh, arch you forgot to address the comment of da 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 da, and I'll be like, fuck, I should put that in the video. Anyway, um, I hope this guy, I hope this was helpful to you guys. And remember, if, just say, you know, you're jealous of Batman and all that other shit. And, you know, just it's something different. I, I don't know. Just trying to make things a little bit different here on this website because the explaining and the trying to rationalize with fanboys, 
I just see so many people on my videos just wasting their time and just going into long drawn out comments and I'm like, why? Why are you trying to talk sense to them? And I just, I'm trying to save, you know, effort and time here for you guys. And again, I'm guilty of sometimes trying to rationalize with some of these idiots as well. But it's gotten to the point where I can't even see, get the time to physically see half the comments that are even left on my videos. So, um, I, you know, I'm afraid that you guys are wasting way more time than you, you should be talking to these nimrods. So anyways, everyone have a fantastic day. A better tomorrow. I'm going to go out and mow the lawn and just melt into a puddle into the front yard. It's hot and humid as shit again. Oh, God damn it. Where's October already? Have a great day, guys.